And what's going on? Fontaine here, the VIP soundlab.com. Just wanted to answer some questions I, I just was getting in regards to the lift limit that was lifted for the scenes and the, um, the patterns. So, you know, some people are still new to finding that out. So, you know, to some, that might be something you might not want to hear, but <laughs> you know, there, you know, there, there's people who, who are new. So, all right, let's go ahead and get you guys familiar with that and see how that works. So, for example, in the last video, I was showing this little icon here where when you're putting sounds on the pads, they show up here. And this is where you can set your keynote as well as your choke, your links and things of that nature. And you have an icon right here. And this is where your scenes and your patterns um, where they show up. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works. OK, for example, we're on group A right here. This one says group B. OK, so group A, group B, think of um, each group, for example, whether in your MK1 or the studio, this is eight banks. OK, bank one, two, three, four, all the way to eight. So A1, OK, B1, C1, D1, all the way to H1. So each bank, whether A through H is going to have a number after it. OK, that's how you know what bank that group is in. OK, so you can press the plus icon here that's one way okay if you want to make new groups but another way you can do it for example is if I was pressing just B you know C D E F G and H okay like so and while I have my pattern menu up here you can go and you can press pattern insert you start inserting patterns like this OK, notice when I get to you know on the software, notice when I get to the 16 pad, the bank B for the pattern show up. The reason why I'm showing it like this, I don't want to confuse you up. Here's your groups. OK, down here is your sounds, but your group show up right here. You see right there, it's ending off on H1, which basically means that that group H is in what's called bank one. This pattern bank over here is what's known as pattern bank one. The next one, this will be pattern bank two. So if I was to you know insert another pattern right here. You see right there, pattern 17 starts off on bank two. Okay. So on your hardware controller, you notice it's going to say bank two. And that's how you can scroll back and forth between your banks. Okay. That's pattern bank two. If I go like that, that's pattern bank one. You notice how on the software, you get a better view of that probably. But on the cam, you might can see that you're switching between your banks. Okay. That's how that works. So let me um, jump off the pattern bank. OK, and I don't have any sounds on here, so obviously they're not going to show up in here. But, you know, if you got sounds in your pads, they're going to show up um, right here. OK, so what I wanted to show you was when you want more groups is basically just think shift. That's long. That's the only thing you got to think in your mind, bro. Just think shift. Nothing else. You press shift. You notice how bank A is already lit because it's in use. You got an available bank that shows up, such as bank B. So you press B. OK, so now if you look in the hardware controller, I mean, not the hardware controller, but the software, you'll see that it says a two, which just means bank two. So again, when I run through the groups like so, you see it ends off on H two up there. Let me see if I can get a better view on this. OK, you see the groups. If I go back to the beginning, that's a one. And then right there is A2. So meaning that's in bank number two. So um, if I need another bank, I just press shift. Now you see C becomes available. And it starts with A3. And you're going down the road. So that's pretty much how that works. And same thing with your scenes. Like if I'm on the scene tab here. And let me bring this up so you can see it better. Okay, scene one. That's scene one, bank one, okay? You know, so if you press insert here on your scenes, again, when I get to the 16th pad, you see bank two starts to display. So if I add one more scene on there, it jumps into bank two. And again, on your hardware controller, you can go between, you know, your banks like that. So, you know, you can create banks, scroll through your banks, whatever you want to do. You know, if you want to duplicate scenes, you could do that. You could set it up so you can duplicate scenes without duplicating previous patterns, you know, and there's so many workflows to this. 
So, um, yeah, man, that's that's pretty much how that works. If you have any questions or concerns, just hit me up. Um, matter of fact, while I, while I got the video going, there was another question uh, a VIP member did ask me, and it was in regards to the sample screen. Let me jump over to that. They wanted to know um, when they're when they're doing their takes. I'm trying to remember something about they they couldn't get it to play or something like that. You know, I'm trying to remember. Okay, like you have your inputs down here. Okay, and you know you have your external sources, whether mono or stereo source. Right now, you see this is in detect mode. So basically, this icon means um, depending on the threshold is when it's going to start recording. So you have to press start here if you're trying to get you know the audio in. Here, here's where you can set up your inputs. Right now, I'm just using you know a USB mic. So over here is where you can set up your levels. It it, it all coincides over here. It's this it's the exact same thing. Like when you're going through this, it just lights up in the software. So whether you're doing it over here, you know, you see the monitors light up here. The monitors light up. So if I'm on input two, you see you're not getting anything. Maybe you were on in. Let me put it back like this so you can hear me. Maybe you were on input two, three or four, and didn't have anything hooked up. So I would say make sure when your inputs lit up, you see the level meter moving you know on your hardware as well as your software here and then you know you just start recording test one two test one two mic check test one two test one two mic check you know and then it you know comes out like that so you know you can do your takes like that you know if you need to do another one if you didn't like that you can erase it keep it locked to the vip soundlab.com Keep it locked to the VIP soundlab.com. Boom. There you go. So I hope that helps you out. Again, that's how you do your uh, your groups. If you want unlimited groups, again, shift and just add your groups. You know, when you, when you hold the shift icon, the available groups show up like this. And again, you got your patterns. You can do the same with your patterns by inserting patterns as well as your scenes. So that's pretty much it. It's your boy Fontaine, VIP soundlab.com. Be sure to come by the website. We have a VIP membership. That's a one-time fee of nine ninety-nine. That's all you pay. You get a, a lifetime subscription of free drum kits, controller editor templates, uh, machine projects, session files, things like that. And plus, I'm working on a lot of new stuff now. So I've been giving out a lot of free drum kits each month, but we're gonna start uh, switching up a little bit. We're gonna still have the free monthly drum kits, but we're gonna try to put like a lot more content inside the uh, the free drum kits and things of that nature and custom machine files and you know and i think we're just going to start popping up every now and then and just start giving out free stuff you know that i'm working on I'm start doing stuff like that too and as always you know the uh the machine tutorials are always free you guys know that and that's pretty much it need weapons for your lab get industry standard professional drum libraries free machine tutorials machine expansions and more and more Keep it locked to www.vipsoundlab.com.